I'm here with Adam, who created a punk taco. Co-created, yeah, I created it. Uh, Co-created with my son, Makana, uh, right. when he was five years old. Uh, we came up with the idea and wrote the story together. Did the artwork. Uh, so first of all, you know, on on camera, I want to congratulate you again for winning uh, last night, winning a Ringo. Thank you very much. Appreciate uh, it. That was a really neat achievement, and, and probably the first time uh, someone under 18 has won a Ringo. That's what I hear. Yeah, I know uh, our friends over here were nominated uh, before us for a pizza tree. Um, but yeah, I think uh, that's the first time, you know, someone so young won. I'm sensing a theme here. It sounds like you need food in your title if you want to win a Ringo. <laughs> possibly, possibly, yeah. I think we're going to do a team up soon. So what um, inspired you to work with your son on, on a comic? Uh, I was actually in the middle of uh, another project. I have about 200 pages completed uh, for another graphic novel I was working on. I was just hanging out with my son. He was, like I said, he was five years old at the time. And uh, I had this name rattling around in my head. I mentioned it to him. He started to laugh. He started to come up with ideas. Um, started doing drawings for it. And it just snowballed from there. And, uh, you know, for you know any parent, you know, you want to, like, capture a moment in time with your child. Uh, it only happens, you know, once, right? You know, this this age group, and uh, I just wanted to spend that time with them, creating something that we can enjoy together and, and we can share together. And it just kept going. Now we're working on volume two together, and we already have ideas for volume three. So, just uh, enjoying the moment. Um, that, and that other project that I had almost completed is still sitting on the shelf, <laughs> waiting to be done. So right now we're just enjoying Punk Taco. Yeah. So it sounds like uh, even as you're continuing, you're still continuing to be collaborative. It's not just he gave you this idea of a taco and, and you oh, ran no. with it. He's always coming up with new ideas. There was a lot of stuff that didn't make it into volume one that we're incorporating into volume two. And like as we're, you know, when we're driving around or we're just talking or playing with toys or just hanging out, he's always coming up with ideas and we, we kind of go back and forth and kick stuff around. So. Uh, so before you mentioned, uh, you know, one of the ways you guys are getting this out is getting them into libraries. Um, when you're having that conversation or, or in general, have you seen other kids respond to the fact that it was co-created by someone maybe their age or close to their age? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, even just friends at his school, you know, that, that learned about it and supported it. And then whenever we're talking at, you know, other schools or libraries, um, kids love the fact that they could see someone their age create something and then they could produce it. And it's a lot easier in today's age because you have a lot of on-demand printing that kids can do. So I always try to encourage them, you know, if you have an idea, just do it. And then you could upload it online, you could have it printed on t-shirts, you could have made, make cards, sneakers, anything these days that I didn't have access to when I was their age. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities for young people to take their creations and bring them to life. And uh, we always try to encourage that. So what's the main theme of your first volume? Uh, Punk Taco Volume 1, is, it's about friendship, compassion, and empathy, doing the right thing against impossible odds. Uh, so Punk Taco makes a new friend, and he has to reunite uh, that friend with his family. Um, so it's about you know, just trying to you know, do the right thing. So. And uh, what, uh, what age is uh, Punk Taco supposed to be? That's the crazy thing. People always ask that question. We literally tell them it's for all ages because it's a sci-fi comedy. Obviously, it was co-written by a five-year-old turning six. Um, so that age group, uh, it's definitely geared for, but uh, McCunn and I read a lot of older comics. Um, he likes the old Stan Lee stuff, so there's a lot of words in it. So someone may pick up Punk Taco and see that it's real wordy, but that's how I learned to read, and that's how we're hoping other kids will learn to read. So if there's a big word in it that they don't know, they either go to the dictionary or their parents or online, they look it up, and it's something that they could keep rereading over and over. That's another reason why we made it a hardcover. So it's not just a floppy that you could toss in a box right. and it gets forgotten about. As the kids grow older, they're gonna you know, reread it and enjoy it. And people that don't have kids buy the book, grown-ups, and they enjoy it. Uh, and we have you know, teachers that have come to us and say, oh, my high school freshmen love it. Yeah. So it's really like something that like, you know, spans generations and like all these different age groups can really enjoy it. And it, it, it makes us really happy because that's what our goal was, to make a book that, you know, grown-ups, kids, teenagers, yeah. everyone can enjoy. That's really incredible. It's, it's hard to market that, though, because someone, you know, when it comes to distribution in stores, they want, yeah. like, it's between 5 and 10 or 10 sure. and 15. Yeah, what shelf do you put it on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. up to, you know, read it and see what's appropriate and put it on that shelf. Right? Yeah. Well, and that's one of the nice things about digital, right? It doesn't have to be on any shelf. You just, exactly. you just find it. Absolutely. Um, and so, um, where do you see uh, the the series going? Where where do you think? Uh, how, how far do you think you're going to go? Where, what do you think? 
how would you think it evolves? I don't know. Right now we're up to volume three, so we know we have some ideas. Uh, we, we're finished writing volume two. It's being penciled in ink. Uh, it's all pencil. It's being inked, inked and colored right now. Uh, that'll be out in uh, early next year, January, February. And we're going to start working on volume three now, writing it. And uh, so that's going to kind of wrap up like a, an overall arc. Like each volume is self-contained. Uh, so you could buy each one and not worry about getting, you know, the, the first or the last one. Okay. Uh, but we do have like an ongoing adventure where it continues at the same time. So, you know, every everyone has an epilogue where Punk Taco is getting into more trouble, <laughs> finding new adventures to get into. So, nice. yeah. But it, it, as long as people are buying it, hopefully we can, we can keep making it. Um, but if McCunna decides he wants to try something else, maybe yeah. we'll go in a different direction. You know, whatever he wants to collaborate on and, and you know. We'll see how it goes. That's thing, as a parent, that's amazing. You know that you guys get to collaborate on something that's a passion for both of you guys. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and so you know I'm not forcing anything on him right now. He's interested in it, you know, but he still likes science and history. And if it's something that he wants to pursue and he doesn't want to do this anymore, then you know I put Punk Taco aside. I get back to that other graphic yeah. novel I almost finished. Yeah. <laughs> so. so, is there anything else that you'd like people to know uh, as as we come out? Uh, just follow us online. Uh, you could follow. You know, Check me on uh, social media. It's just my name, Adam Walenta. And, uh, or you could go to punktaco.com, find us on there. Uh, you could buy the book on punktaco.com or on Amazon. Um, or if you want to go to your local retailer and ask if they can get it, uh, they can contact us. So, yeah. All right. Thank you very much for speaking to me. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Thanks.